Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another video of our Golang series. The one final operation that is left up here is the delete operation and that should be fairly simple. We have already accomplished that once, we can do that again. In the update, we actually did that. So we have update course, create course, get one course, get all course and let's just say we want to have a function which is going to say uh, delete one course and uh, there we go, nice and easy, pretty simple stuff. And by the way, you can also define another method which says delete all course. So maybe for some reason you want to just delete out. Base, it should be really simple. So I'm not gonna do that. I'll leave that as a simple exercise for you. So go ahead, define another method which says delete all courses. If anybody calls that, then everything should be cleaned up. Uh, there are many ways how to handle that. You can just loop through and remove all the values or you can, in this case, it can be much more easier that you can just delete the entire reference of that database and just recreate that. So there are a couple of ways. Uh, feel free to just work on with whatever suits you best. We are already taking a lot of liberties up here. Let's go ahead and take uh, the basics up here. So fumt is all here. So let's just copy that. And by the way, this is create one course. Did I updated that into update one course? Nope. So it is important for us, update one course. So at the time when all these will be called up, it would be easier for us to debug the stuff, which method is getting called and stuff like that. So delete one course. Okay, now taking one that. Okay, so how we're gonna take care of the delete courses? Delete one course. Obviously, I need to know which course you are looking up for delete. So the first thing is, I need to have a unique ID of that. So the further operation are pretty simple. We're going to loop through. As soon as we hit the mark where we match the ID, we're gonna go ahead and remove that. How the removing is going to work, we are going to use the slices and the same index concept to just go ahead and work with that. Pretty simple. Okay, let's go ahead and first grab the params. So we're gonna say, hey params, I want to grab that. And that is gonna be done via the mux. Mux will say, hey, wars, just go ahead and grab all that from the request itself. I'm pretty sure this is so much obvious to you now. Now let's go ahead and uh, write down the action plan for this one. So obviously, first we're going to go through the loop. As soon as we hit the ID, we are going to go ahead and perform the remove operation of that values. And for removing of that, we are going to take care of that index, comma, index, uh, plus one syntax. Okay, sounds like good. Let's go ahead and work on with that. First thing is loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I this time care about index as well as the course itself. I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, I'll use a range on courses. And uh, we need to take care of if condition. Look how smooth and how uh, quickly we are going through that. Hopefully it didn't made a noise by bumping the mic. <laughs> Anyways, so now coming up onto that part, how we're going to make match a condition. We're going to say, hey course, you have a unique property, which is course ID. If that matches up with the params, which also happen to have a unique ID up here, if that is the case, that means we have reached to this point that we have looped through, we have matched the ID, now comes up is the remove operation. So the remove is pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and say, hey courses, I want to use an append operation on that, and not just any append operation, I want to go ahead and say, hey courses, I don't care about the initial range, but please keep on this as a separate segment and combine it with the courses. I don't want the index, so I'll start with index plus, not like that, index plus one, and I don't care about the end range. Since this is a variadic operation, I'm gonna go ahead and use triple dots. So there we go. Now we have gone through with that remove operation as well and this index format. One important thing is I don't want to move on further. So here's a quick question. Should I use a continue or should I use a break here? Remember, if you just said continue, no, my friend, that is wrong because continue just skips over one operation. But here in this case, break makes sense because break actually just breaks the entire loop here and that's exactly what I want to do. Now, do you want to send any JSON response after that? Uh, that's up to you and I'll leave that as a simple exercise for you. Go ahead, craft a JSON response and before you hit this break operations, once you have done this one, uh, just go ahead and send a JSON response that, hey, uh, we are able to successfully delete this. We won't be sending this course. We just want to send a message that, yeah, uh, this ID is now being removed or is being deleted. So there we go. Now we have worked with a lot of methods. So a lot of controllers are being written, which were supposed to go in a separate file, but we didn't. Now let's go ahead and work on to the routing part, which Mux is going to help us a lot. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.